Yo, what's poppin'? Hey, yo, I wanna, um, before we get into the conversation, I wanna do something. I got, I came with gifts and shit. Uh, so, I think I said this before. We can move this shit out the way. This, this yours? We can move that out the way. Um, so this is Marcus. He, he, he got a, uh, he's from Baltimore, from the village or whatever. He, uh, he went to Atlanta. He created something called King Crab ATO. Um, all seafood shit like that. Uh, he also has a business called Boss. Um, he used to do this shit like a while ago. Um, he had jackets. I mean, you got he wore this shit. Uh, fucking rich homie Quan, all that. He rebranding his clothing line. Um, and it's bossed by Marcus. So he told me he fuck with you. He was like, y'all want to um give him some gifts. So I'm gonna let you open that yourself. Definitely. He ain't playing with him. He yeah, I said it's it's fire. And it's so I thick. think it's like snake skin or some shit on a uh on a collar. Like the yeah. shit is all authentic. Like he go to New York, get that shit. Handmade like that shit is that shit legit. It's varsity, sure. definitely pressure. That shit hard. I don't know if you could fit it. I mean, whatever. You I can. definitely probably could fit it. Look just like my son. That shit hard. Oh, yeah. So yeah, he got you right with the box and shit yeah. like that. Um, while while I'm uh while we showing love, I'm gonna put this on the ground for you. I want to give a special shout out to uh, 1500 Radio for letting me use the studio anytime I'm in town in Baltimore. They always show love. My guy Phil, um, we still doing our Pi City shit. Uh, they just hit you up on Instagram and shit like that. Radio Phil underscore un- underscore Radio Phil. Make sure you fuck with uh, 1500 Radio. Fuck with the Pi City our shows and shit. Monday every day, seven days a week, man. Make sure you download the 1500 Radio app. All that, man. Uh, shout out to love. But Roddy Rax is in this motherfucker. What up, dog? What it is? How you Yo. feeling? Blessed, man. I feel like this been a long time coming, yo. Like, yeah, damn. It's, it's, it's been long, but it feel like it happened fast at the same time. That's true. I don't know. You can say that because you've been moving. For me, yeah. it's been long because I've been trying to sit down with you for a long ass yeah. time. So, like, yeah. I think since fucking maybe since DTLR. So, like, yeah. I, um, I definitely want to say I appreciate you. But definitely. it's been a lot of... It's kind of like, you know how they everybody talk about the universe and shit like that? And it seems like it's perfect timing because now you sign. There's a lot yeah, of shit happening. there's a lot of shit we can talk about, yeah. Yeah, so like, first of all, like, how, how is the deal? How long you been signed? How I feel to be signed? Oh, I've been, I been signed for like a year. I signed the day before my birthday, February 11th, last year. And I, I kind of want to ask you how I feel to be signed, but I don't. And I'm going to tell you why, because like, I feel like... My question would be why, honestly, not how it feel, but why? Why are you signing with anybody? Like, why you sign? Why you sign? Just to get that back behind you, get that spine behind you, just like that team and, and the right, the right shit to push you and make you the star you're gonna be for real type shit. Like, what are they doing? That, but I, I don't see them doing nothing. And correct me if I'm wrong. I don't see them doing nothing that you ain't been doing on your own. So yeah, that's the thing about it. It's like it was. They already know that. It's like it wasn't much they can. And all they gotta do is just be behind me. I was already doing what I was supposed to do, and that's the same thing they told me. Like, just keep doing what you was already doing. You feel me? I think, yo, for me, I, I think when it comes to these labels and shit, again, anytime if I say anything that's wrong, you can correct me, bro. Right. Uh, when it comes to these labels, I don't really fuck with that because I feel like by the time they want to sign a nigga, a nigga don't need to be signed. Yeah, that's the thing about it. And niggas don't really know better. What happens is they get the niggas that don't really know better. They yeah. sign me, fuck them over the whole time. They yeah. already hot for us. No, what happened is niggas be signing and get comfortable, you feel me? Or okay. niggas be thinking it's over. Once you sign, it just ain't over, you feel me? That's just another process, another start. I, f- I look at it like, shit, I'm at the top. I'm at the top of where I used to be, but right now I'm at the bottom of what they got going on type shit, you feel okay. me? Okay, so you're like, not like a priority in the office? Yeah, like I, that, like- I'm not a priority, but everybody know my name. Like, my name real hot in the office right now. And I know at the end of the day, as long as I keep doing what I'm doing, they're going to drop them M's. Like, that shit guaranteed check type shit. So how was that? I'm I'm curious to know how was that to be like you know, real as rich as young and we t- we talking about Baltimore like yeah you ain't about to go nowhere in Baltimore and not know who Roddy Rex is right yeah how was how was like kind of starting over now you come into the building in Def Jam and it's like you not you not Roddy Rex and I'm you just like yeah how was it's, that it's it's it's, it's, it's good because I don't already been through this type of process before when motherfuckers don't know who I am so I like to prove motherfuckers I like to prove myself for real and let my heart root because. I came out, I wasn't even really into the rap shit, so I really wasn't going to people say, yo, I rap. So they see me, they might just have a good conversation with me and don't even know I'm rap type shit, you mm-hmm. feel me? So when I go in that building, they already, they know who I am, my name buzzing, but it's like, you feel me, I still got work to do. A lot of work. That shit do. just keep me working for real. You can't ever, 
Like, a lot of people get signed and get big headed. They forget what what the fuck. Like, they think it's just over at that. How was that situation? Was it like, um, uh, they gave you requirements that you had to hit? Like, talk to me about the back. Nah, ain't no timing or none of that shit on what I got on what I got dropped. But it's like I'm still in control of my shit for real. I be forgetting I'm signed. It's like I can call them for whatever they gonna handle that shit for me. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, hell yeah. Yo, you um, let's let's go back for a second. Um, and then how I look at it, like shit, I came from nothing. I used to spend all my money on rap and type shit. So it's like. From now, I ain't even got to spend my own money on studio time, videos, this, and that, this, that. You feel me? So it's like, that that's just a blessing. And what? It, nigga, I'm, I'm glad you said it's a blessing. I got though. a check from that shit. I, I would never think I'd get no fucking... I ain't never get no free money in my life. That shit was like payback. What was the check? How much the check was? It was a couple hundred thousand. <laughs> that's what it was. That for, shit, for real? A couple hundred. That shit hit my bank account. I used to... When I first got signed and that shit first hit my bank account, I used to go to the bank machine, really put my card in there like, damn. This shit really real, like. Damn. This shit was really real, like. But I'm used to that that, shit though. That wasn't the money wasn't nothing new to you. Like, I mean, we can clearly see, like, niggas know. But the fact that you said like it was a free check. Yeah, I ain't never get no free money in my life. I used to be trying to get free money all my life. (laughs) So wait, be honest. And then then it's different. It's different from going in the booth now. Like, shit, you step to the mic, you be like, shit, I'm ready to get paid for this shit. It's different. When I used to grind, I'm like, man, I'm spending all my money on studio time. Only got thousand dollars. I gotta shoot a video. Three hundred shoot a video. Three hundred on my outfit. Three hundred on studio time. I'm done. Nigga, I can't even re up now. Like when, when, when was this? Because I don't remember. Three four years ago. I might say three hundred on the outfit. Yeah, three four years. Niggas yeah, that's, like... that's what, that's what <laughs> we was wearing. Hudsons and, and Jordans and G Star shirts and shit like that. Okay. Yo, so uh, damn, it's, it's, I, I would I didn't expect that from you. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm yeah. thinking like you just still doing my, your own thing. Yeah. Like, so talk, talk to me. Let's go back for a second before we. I know we we talking about sign and so much so many things going on, right? All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna say a name and you tell me what you think about it. A right. boogie, a boogie. He influenced the beginning of my career type shit. A boogie fire. Mm. Why like why did you like I don't know. Uh, look at him to out of all the artists. Like why was it a boogie around that time? He was going through the same type shit I'm going through now. Type shit like he he was he was. Like, I'm not a regular person, all that shit. That shit was fire, for real. And I just used to ride around listening to that. When I first started rapping, I just used to listen to him a lot, for real. Him, Future, and shit like that. And that's with me. That's where I got my flow from type shit. I used to listen to their songs and take words out their songs and make my own songs. I ain't. Re- I really wasn't doing it for everybody. I was doing that shit for myself so I can get on live or get on Instasnap and listen to my own music. So even then, right, like, what even made you get into the wanting to get into music? I was always in the music. My uncle, they had a studio. Like, everywhere I, everywhere I lived at, my grandmother and them, they had a studio in my house. Like, everybody used to be over my grandmother's house. My uncle, he always had a, had a had a studio in there. So, you know, I just was around that shit. So, like, I, it's crazy. I used to want to rap. I've been wanting to rap since I was, like, six, seven. But it's like, I felt like I ain't had nothing to talk about type shit. Mm. I feel like it's crazy because, like, you know, a lot of niggas, they see Roddy Rax and they thinking, like, oh, man, who this nigga? Like, this nigga lit. Like, yeah. like but you been doing this. You yeah. talk about, the uh, like, when you was first, like, back in the day when you was doing, like, I don't want to say remixes, but you, you yeah, got something like Jungle. Yeah, type shit. Jungle, yeah. yeah. Like, shit like that. Like, yeah. what made you stop getting into it? Because you see a lot of artists do the covers and shit. Because I feel like I don't want to waste a good song on somebody else's beat type shit. You feel exactly. me? I want to get paid off it. It might be a hit. So I might go in there. And say some hard ass shit on somebody else beat and can't get paid. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah. I like that. So like what what is it? What how do you feel now? Now that like what what space are you in right now? I feel like shit, I already went through all the shit that niggas go through when they first get signed. I already I found myself, I already figured out what I want out of this shit, I already figured out what's next for me. Real type shit. And I'm already already I'm already good for myself. Like I a nigga came from nothing. I gotta Eighty thousand dollar watch on, so it's like this shit is different now. So it's like, bro, I know I know I can make millions. Like I love just that. knowing just knowing you can make millions every day. Like knowing one, like you getting closer. I feel like I'm getting closer every day. Yo, I love the like. It's like you can hear the humility. Like man, I, I came from nothing. I got an eighty thousand. There's a lot yeah. of niggas. We don't see that as consumers, yeah. as fans, as supporters. We don't never. I ain't never hear you say no shit. Like I just hear you always yeah. stunting flat. Like yeah, but the fact I can hear I. Me personally, y'all love it that about you. Like, I, yeah, man, that's dope. That's fire. That shit, that shit, that shit be real. Like, damn. So one thing about me, bro, like we we gonna talk about some shit, but I always wanna like 
check in on niggas because I feel like you know how they always say they saying like check on your uh check on your strong little, friends. Oh, check on your strong friends. Yeah, and I feel like you probably holding it down for a lot of niggas, but I'm holding it. <laughs> but let's 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 look at it, bro. Like even if you look at a lot of your old music videos and you looking at your videos now. A lot of them niggas and passed away. Yeah, I lost a lot of niggas. A lot of them niggas, them niggas on fuck with the other side. Them niggas on the wrong side of the board. A lot of niggas, they want to expect it. A lot of niggas, they wanted to be right here at this moment. And they mad at me because they ain't right here. And they chose a side. Or they, they fucked up. And I just stayed on what I stayed on. You feel me? But how does that, like, don't say fuck them. Like, like, honestly, how that make and you feel for real, bro? It's, it's really fuck them because it's like, Y'all knew what my mind was on. Y'all knew my mind was on the music type shit. I wasn't going to let the street shit make me fuck up. So it's like, I was in the middle of a whole, I'm in the middle of a whole damn war type shit. So it was like, I stayed true to myself. I stayed true to my belief. You feel me? If I don't believe in something, I'm I'm sticking with that. You feel me? So what you, without, of course, we ain't about to, I ain't, I ain't no Vlad. We ain't the police. Yeah, hell but yeah. Without, without saying too much, when you say I, I, I was in the middle of war, but I want to stay true to myself. What, is, what do you mean exactly? Like, my whole hood. Like, my whole hood. They've been beefing. My hood been beefing with each other for, like, 10 years type shit. But it's like, some niggas grew up on this block. Some niggas grew up on this block. But we all knew each other from the same, like, since we was young type shit. But the older niggas over top of us, they was already beefing type shit. So it was, like, hella shit for real. So it was, like, inherited beef. Yeah, it's in, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I ain't going to let the hood shit... You feel me? And heard the beef. Hell no, I ain't going. I fuck with who I fuck with. I fuck with who grew up with me. I fuck with who love me. All that. Just because you from the hood, that don't mean you love me. Right. So you think some niggas thought you should have automatically chose to pick the side? Yeah. And that's But, right. but niggas, niggas still saying that at first, but now they ain't got no choice but to respect it. Like, look what the fuck Yoda just went through to get here. Like, that shit tried to drag him in there. You feel me? Is that, you think that's coming? So when you say niggas don't have no choice, I feel like it's easy. For a nigga not to have no choice where you at now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I feel like it's easy for a nigga to be like, oh, no, nah, man, Roddy, I fuck with that nigga now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like a part of that is, the, is because of the success that, that, that followed you? Yeah, definitely. I feel like, I feel like, because it's like anybody else that was in my position, niggas can't even, I know niggas probably can't even believe I've been doing good for this long by myself. Like, ain't nobody tell me how to move, how I'm moving type shit. So it's like, nigga probably be like, damn, like, Yo, really still going on with this shit. He's still holding this shit down. He ain't crashing out. He ain't chasing no bitches. He ain't out this bitch trying to be nobody. He ain't trying to fuck up the hood. He he really taking this shit to the top. Like, I feel like from your hood, is it um is L and D what? L and D. L and D, right. Longwood, bigger. I feel Duke, like there's a lot of niggas in the city that came from that area. Like like yeah. niggas that was hot. Like that's still yeah, hot. Hell yeah. Do you feel like do you feel like you had any pressure coming up under these niggas? Like it was no, because when they was rapping, I really wasn't focused on rapping. I was pushing them like I was just like on the promotion shit. Like I I use my Instagram to promote their music. I wasn't even thinking about rapping. I just be in their videos. You feel me? Fucking with them. So the rap shit for them, for me to come out of nowhere and take it to the top, niggas respect it. Niggas be like, damn, I was just hustling for real type shit. Is niggas? Are you doing any um? Of course, I see you doing collaborations, but like, are you doing any collabs with those artists that came from? I think we got what? Uh, I don't want, because I don't know what situation. Sex I don't know if you, Tato. Uh, who else? I'll let you name them. I don't, uh, Sex I don't. Tato and Chaz. Wait, Chaz from around there? Yeah, too? Chaz from my block. Yeah, hell yeah. Damn, I ain't even, I thought, I ain't even know. Hell that. yeah, that's my man. Now, I know y'all niggas really close. Yeah, hell like, yeah. How, how is that relationship like? Because y'all like, like brother. <laughs> like, that's not my man. That's my man. It's different, like, from making music together. It's like, we done came up together. We've been, I'm talking about me and him going half on studio sessions. We only got $300 type shit. So it's like for us to come this far, it's like we already know what we possibly, I mean, Kate Below. What was his uh, reaction when you got signed? He was in jail when I got signed. Damn. We was, we was already going over Cali for real. So I was already in the midst of signing, but I ain't signed yet. But then as soon as I got signed, he straight went to jail. Like, How did you feel about that, though? Man, I was hurt because I was over Cali grinding like, like six months straight by myself in the studio, home, studio, home, out Cali by myself, moving around type shit. So it's like, that's that's who usually be with me in the studio, him and Chris. I'm going to ask you this, bro. I'm a little older, bro. Don't don't mind me, bro. I want to ask you this. Because I, well, I hear your story, bro. It's like, you, you're so strong. But like, how many times do you think you, you cried this year? Honestly. Right. To yourself in the, in the crib. Shit, probably like, probably like. Two times, shit don't hit me though. This shit don't never hit me. Like I be trying, I be trying to feel this shit. Like Does it damn, not this hit shit you, bro, really bro, real. Honestly, bro. It don't hit you. You smoke a lot, huh? You smoke a lot. 
Nah, I don't really smoke a lot. I don't uh, really drug a lot. Okay, okay. So it's like that shit. I be trying to get that shit to hit me. Like, damn, y'all really signed. I really did everything I wanted to do. But it's like my mind already on next goal. Shit, I gotta go get these. But not things. even the goals. I'm talking about the niggas you lost. The, you oh, know, the, the niggas front, I like, lost. Like that's a lot, bro. Yeah, I don't ever get time to really sit back and think about that shit. I just be trying like, fuck it. I lost them for a reason. Type shit. Like, I look. I, I everybody that died, I learned something from that shit. Like, I learned how to move from that shit. What was the biggest lesson you think? Shit. Just never look at it like the end. Just look at it still at the beginning. I seen a lot of niggas crash out because they was looking at it what they was going through at the time. Niggas 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 crash out because they think about what they're going through at the time. So I was just like, man, all the bad shit just forced me to go do more good shit. Yeah. I fuck with it. Yo, let's talk about um I know we everywhere back and forth, but um we were talking about independency, right? We were talking about you being signed. I feel like at one point in time, I mean, honestly, person, I can say this. Like, I, ain't, I don't got no ties to nobody. It's my shit. Right. I really don't think you need to be signed to nobody because you that nigga. Like, that's what and I'm, I'm just, it is, it is, but I don't give a fuck. I can say that's it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, I, I like that. Like, I like that, but at the same time, that's how I feel now because, like, I already did what I need to do with the label type shit. That shit already got me that look. So it's like, I forever know that I was signed to Def Jam before. Like, that's legendary. Like, Let's, especially coming from the city. Yeah, so it's like, all right, that's next. What's next? So, for real, get out of the contract, or they're going to give me them M's or whatever, and then I'm going to go by my business and keep turning up. You um you used to do uh the, uh the what was it, the cookouts? Yeah, the cookouts. The block parties and shit? Yeah. And, like, you had, like, th- like it was like. That shit was crazy. And when I when I look at shit like that, I'm like, niggas ain't no. That's, that's what I'm saying. And that's another wake-up call. Like, damn, I really got this shit under control. Like, niggas can't even come back to their hood. So it was like, for a nigga like me, to really, the block I was born on, really be right there, turn that bitch up, bring the whole city to my block. That shit just showing them this shit really than them songs. Yo, you say you still can go back to the hood, right? And yeah. I, I ask this everybody. You got 80 on your wrist, probably more, because you got another one. You got a yeah. like, couple on your, on, your, on your neck, right? Yeah. But we still in Baltimore, and there's still niggas that be Yeah. Here. It's, do you feel like you downplay your celebrity? I feel like I get, yeah, no, hell no. That's why I don't go to the clubs as much. You feel me? But if you still going to the hood to hang with your niggas, I don't really. I, I be in the hood like I be in the hood for like an hour, and that's it. It's okay. it's too much. It's too much police shit around there. It's too much police, so I be like, it's too much at risk. I definitely gotta go to the hood just to feel that vibe because that's me. Like I can't. I feel just, like that's downplaying your this, celebrity. That's what, that's what I did though. I had moved to L.A. for a couple months. Yeah, I focused on the music after a while, but then it's like, I ain't get all the way here to leave my niggas in the hood type shit. I gotta. That's. That's when I cried for real. I was in the lamb one day. I was in the lamb. I had the lamb for like three days straight. So I'm just sitting in the car eating for real. I just started crying like, damn, this shit, I don't feel this shit. Like, I'm really living my dream, but I don't feel this shit because the people that I love ain't around me type shit. So I'm by myself. It's like, man, shit, I got to go back to the hood. I got to get my niggas out of the hood. Ain't. So you feel like, you do you feel like you kind of obligated to getting your niggas out the hood? Yeah, hell yeah. You know, I, I want to be, I want to be the one that did, did that. I think, um, Cause I know how the street says this shit happened fast, like you know. I and I, I and I love that. I love that for you. You feel me? I love the fact that's that's how you think. It's just we can't ignore that the Nipsey hustles. You feel me? We yeah. Like, we hear we hear Boosie the the, the young Dolphs. You feel yeah, me? Like, but them niggas got the same mindset. They know what it is when they dealing with the hood shit. They took a sacrifice, like all this shit a sacrifice. But your, is your life worth going? Like you can get your niggas it's, out it's the about hood. What you another stand way. Or if you got morals and principles, you gonna you feel me? You willing to die by morals and principles? You willing? To, you feel me? I I know one thing about me, like I ain't slipping up. I ain't slipping up at all. Like I I'm be sharp, sharp, sharp. Like and then at the end of the day, it's a lot of people that love me. Like it's a lot of people that love me. So somebody knew if something happened with me, like shit, shit, it was gonna get crazy. No, I just I just want you to be safe, man. Hell yeah, I I pace that shit. I don't really, I don't really touch that shit too much. I don't really touch the hood too much because I know it's still a risk at the same time. Right, because even like the niggas that we see, like shit. It's like when niggas come back home, niggas get in trouble. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. See, I don't. You see, I don't be in shit. I just matter of fact, the day I just been, I just got out of probation today. I did two years. Nigga. Yeah, I did two. Damn, I don't got no drink. Damn. I just, did two years without getting in trouble, and, and I got signed and all that shit, and I ran out my money, everything. That shit not possible. Like for a nigga to go this long without getting in trouble, get a deal, this that, this that. I got a lot of accomplishments, so it's like, shit. How do you feel like the um? How, how do you feel like the love when it comes from the city. Do you feel like you get the love from the 
the rappers, the the artists, the niggas that's lit here. Yeah, hell yeah. I still feel like I ain't. I still feel like I'm working my way to the top, though. I feel like I'm definitely one of the biggest artists in the city for real. But we all going up. I'm trying to get all of us to go up. I know everybody going up in their own way. Everybody got a good fan base. Yeah, I think. Um, I think that. Uh, what was that shit you? Me tech and school. Yeah, that just went crazy. I think that was a good look. Yeah, that was look. Yeah, that turned my that turned my shit up a little bit more. How y'all how y'all even managed to do that? Like that was perfect. That was so smart. I put that together. I, for real? Uh, what's the name? Chris was putting the tape together for real. He put the beats together. So Tech came in there and laid the hook down. So Tech left the studio before I came. So I came in the studio straight to that song plan. So I put my verse on there for real. And then we put Tech part again. So then Scola came to the studio. School was very hot on another song. I'm like, hell no, just put them on that song with me and Tech for real. We ain't got no songs like that. Me, school and Tech. Mm. That bitch went up crazy. So you ain't, you ain't had to ask them, I guess? Nah, hell no. They, they they fam for real. I fuck with them niggas. Okay. Like, how do you think you can do that again with, um, again, it's hard to have, like, because I know niggas are still in the streets and shit like that, but you do you think you could do that for the city with artists that's not as close? Like, let's say if niggas beef, you could end the beef and be like, yo, let's do this shit together. It matter what happened. It matter what it's about for real. But I feel like I feel like definitely I can I can I I don't mind asking nigga like you feel me them niggas every rap in the city I fuck with them niggas like on some on some street shit they know where I come from I know where they come from we going through the same shit type shit no matter how big your fan base is we all going through the same shit nah man I think that's fire I think if if the city can do that more yeah hell yeah then, like I think that will get a lot of attention because yeah I'm just thinking about doing a tape with me to me um school and tech. Mm. On all three of us on all the songs for real. Yo, you know what I um when when, when I look at you, who I think about, like when mm. it comes to the city, I know is the world is so much bigger than the city, but I mean right. we just like, we bought them on niggas. It is what it is. I think when I look at you, I look at like I think of like little baby. Yeah, I'm like what, this nigga really is. He's really what, running shit. That's why that's what everybody be saying because I because I be like I be on my shit for real, and right. I'm really living like that. That's how it is. Yo, who else you think you um plan on working with like anytime soon? Like, far as out of the city or in the city? Anybody. Shit. I want to do a song with all the biggest artists. I want to do this, do a song with, like, most of the artists I listen to. After I do that, that's when I know that? I made it type shit. Money bag. Future, oh, no. Dirt. Shit, money bag. Like, a whole list. A boogie. All them niggas. Once I do a song with Future or somebody, that's when I feel like, oh, yeah, I made it. I got my point across type shit. I fuck with it. Yo, I feel the- like I took, my, I took my story far enough. You feel me? What happened, um... What the fuck happened to your Instagram? I was looking for your shit. Shit got deleted. How the fuck that happened? Psh, niggas be reporting me. Oh, niggas hating for real. Yeah, Wait, niggas... I, I ain't even know like they was. I ain't even know that could happen to a, a verified account. Like the fuck? Man, niggas niggas hate me. They hate me, and they and they hate me because I don't even reply to the hating ass shit. What's some of the hating you shit you get? You saying so much? Shit. You don't I have to say no name. What's 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 probably like the craziest shit you saw in your DM? Like what the fuck? Niggas is really hating. Man. Oh, niggas be saying some clown ass shit all the time. Niggas say, yeah, you bought all this jewelry, buy a house, buy this, buy that. Just some clown ass shit. It's like, motherfuckers be mad what you spend your money on. Yeah, all up in another. You don't really, party. yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. But I mean, we so we can't ignore that, 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 I mean, that is a thing. You feel me? Like investment properties and shit like yeah, that. Are you thinking yeah. about shit like that or? Yeah, hell yeah. We already on that. We already on that type shit. That's that definitely the goals, you feel me? Because we already in live the hood, nigga goals. You know, in the hood, in the trap, that's all you think about shit. I got to run it up. I got to get me and all my niggas some money. I got to get the watches, get the chains. So now we already got all that shit. Facts. So it's like, all right, what's next from here? We got to get some legal businesses. We got to buy these houses. We got to get everybody out the hood. We got to keep everybody safe, keep everybody alive. Shit, pay his lawyer. Make sure he get an appeal type shit. We trying to, you feel me? We trying to bring back our loved ones that's, that's booked all type of shit. Nah, facts. We got to build that generational wealth. You know, Baltimore is, about, is wide open. We got CIAA just came. This shit possible. It's, it's hella money out here. Hella money. But nah, man, I, um, I appreciate you for pulling up, bro. Um, Shit, I don't even know. Like, you got another gram? Like, what's, what's, what's going on? I got another gram, but I'm just waiting for my other gram to get back. Oh, so they going to get it back? Yeah, my, my label going to get that shit back. All I right. ain't really tripping because I ain't really posting nothing right now anyway. Yo, do you think, Um, speaking of that, I know I saw you about to get Do you think, uh, how do you feel about Instagram? Instagram. It's good to promote your music. As long as you ain't too much into that shit, you'll never feel me. You'll never see me on live fussing with niggas or this type shit or rap beefing. I don't be. I don't see how niggas be rap beefing. You don't even know these niggas. Y'all, what the fuck y'all beefing about? Yeah. Over bitches and who got this or who got that or who got the most looks. Like, that shit. 
I think like I, should, I feel like that shit all for attention. Facts. I think Instagram, it just get harder sometimes because like you got and I'm just being completely honest, right? Let's say for a nigga that's that's not as confident, right? Right. They see a nigga like you shining, right? So now they like, damn, I can't even post a picture because I don't got that because you know that's what people yeah. want to see. But like, yeah. you gotta be confident. That's what I'm saying that's, that's and like, then that should build hate it, now, it, niggas. Everybody don't nothing. know it ain't. It ain't always, it's always gonna be somebody else's time. It's not your time yet. Facts. I, I was waiting my time. Like, I was waiting my time for a long time. Like, waiting my time. I never hated on nobody. I use everybody. Whatever they doing is motivation. If you sit back and you think you gotta be less confident, no, nah, I was confident before I had all this shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, this shit just, it's just that shit don't mean nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it just put it on yeah. to another level. Yeah. Nah, man, I appreciate you, dog, for real. Um, I guess whenever you get your shit back, uh, niggas know where you at. Niggas yeah, my know. shit, my shit gonna go up. I know long as shit, long as I'm going up, them them followers gonna come back if I ever lose my gram type shit. I ain't so sure. it, no matter, like just just in case, um, I don't know where this shit might go, might go crazy for the niggas that might not know. Let them know where to follow your Instagram whenever you get it back. At Roddy Rex, R O D D Y R A C K Z Z. And you want them, you want niggas to fuck with the, the shit you got on now, or you? Nah, I ain't really tripping out this. This is like, this is like a personal little Instagram. For, okay, you feel me? All right, yeah. Hell okay. yeah, we definitely, friends. we definitely got a lot to talk about for real. Cause it's like, what else you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> no, got, I'm good, bro. I, I'm, oh, right. You got something else you want to? I'm good. I was just trying to give them the real one. or anything. like, man, shit, it ain't like what? Just cause what's, what's, you, just cause you see me. You see all this shit, that don't mean, that don't mean that shit just not, uh, nigga, life ain't problematic. Like, it's still a lot of shit that come behind this shit. Like and what? I, I'm able, I'm able to walk w- through my hood with shit like this for real, because it's like, niggas know I'm good. Like, it's a difference. What niggas, come with it, though? You said, like, a lot of shit that come with it. A lot of shit come with it. You gonna go out there and risk your life and spend all this money on this watch when it's like all these people depending on you. You feel me? You you don't know what come behind that. You don't know what come behind that. It's going to be niggas trying to get that nigga. It's going to be fake motherfuckers. It's going to be bitches trying to get your money. Niggas trying to get your money. You're going to see your family change. You're going to see motherfuckers. All that type of shit. Motherfuckers making up rumors on your name. All that shit. So, like, you... you I, I wasn't going to bring this up, but I guess since we here. A while ago, we did see some type... It was like... I don't want to say beef, but we seen what? you had the diss track. Oh yeah, the diss track was Salo. I really wasn't knowing that. My man, my man, my man told me I had to diss him. Like man, you got to diss him for real. That shit, cause he was really. Now you see how the tables turn. You see how the tables turn. He, I'm up, man. He, yeah, he in the position he in. You feel what happened, me? What happened with that though? Like what? Like what? what it was some shit. Some shit. What the fuck happened? I don't even know what really happened. I don't know what really happened, but I had fucked this baby mother. Before that even even happened for real, so it's like, so he said some slick shit for real, and after that I just slid that in the song for real and just like fuck it, drop that shit. Niggas be crazy. Niggas said, I don't really know what happened. I mean, I fucked this baby, mo-. nigga. Like, you, I don't really, you think you gonna fuck a nigga baby mom, nigga? Not I don't do know if he. I don't know if he knew that before he came at me though. I don't know if he knew that. Niggas is crazy. I don't know. I mean, I think I. I want, and that's why my Instagram deleted because. I probably fuck these nigga bitches. They probably got my shit deleted. So you think it'd it be niggas that's out here that's, that's supposed to be lit that's just hating? Yeah, niggas. Listen, niggas is tender about it. Don't matter how much a nigga think he that nigga, niggas lose confidence when you take their bitch. Facts. So you must have just took somebody bitch. Who bitch you take, bro? Who bitch you take, bro? Man. You brought. You said, yo, you 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 brought it here. I have a lot of one-nighters. I don't, they, <laughs> they, they get to know me for one night. That's it. They, no, I bitch, feel like... Listen. That's why it's good to be that nigga. You got to let these bitches know that you that nigga in their mind and tell them you that nigga because a bitch will leave you for the next nigga that they think that nigga in one night. Mm, facts. Bitch, if a bitch got, if you, if Drake call a nigga bitch right now, she's going to she leave gonna him. Yeah. Facts. And she going she gonna to try her best not to let him know. But I'm trying to figure, I just feel like you fucking a nigga bitch that probably said something to you, but now now you, you don't want to tell us. If somebody asks you like, yo, what, bro, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't, you know. I, I'm fucking. I be trying. I be trying. I don't be trying to know who them bitches dealing with. Like, if a bitch be like, oh, you know my boyfriend. Oh, no, I don't. I don't bitches even be need doing to know that. Like, bitch, are you fucking a girl, right? They, they, they try to put that fishing rod out there, like, yeah, you know my boyfriend, to see if you, like, care about that sh- I don't know. I don't know your boyfriend. I don't be wanting to know that. I don't know who you dealing with. Man, I ain't, man. That's a. Niggas is crazy, bro. I, I, bro, that was all I had, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's how it go. I'm still chilling. I don't know, bro. I just fucked the nigga bitch. 
Yeah. Now, so th- wait, did y'all ever rekindle that though? Like y'all, did y'all ever? He said it, w- it really wasn't nothing for real because I seen him, I seen him. I was locked up. We was walking past. We walked past each other. He ain't say nothing to me. It was never like we never caught eye contact when we was locked up. None of that shit. It was like he that shit. It was what it was for real. We left that shit right there. So if if you was if you I say think it, niggas 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 know I got too many too many people ready to crash out that's around me. You feel I'm me? trying to figure out DR squad. So we talking about putting balls. Oh yeah, it's, on it's like, over. It's it's it, it's over for me because I never that shit was never really something serious to me. It was like some rap shit. All right. So you ain't beef with nobody else right now, is you? Hell no, I ain't beef. I don't beef that's with niggas. Good. I ain't even new. I don't even be around nobody to beef with them. I'm in the studio. Oh, that's good. I'm. I'm I'm happy for you, bro. I'm probably beefing with the engineer. <laughs> about, yeah, that's good. That's good, beef, that's good beef, bro. That's good beef, bro. That's that's where I wanted to see it stay at, bro. Now I keep doing your thing, man. Roddy Rex, Realist Richard Youngin. Um, I mean, that's all I got, bro. Already, appreciate you. Got.